All right, welcome in. We are in Richland for a little middle school basketball. Uh, little, here I go, Will, starting again. <laughs> uh, middle school softball, um, where the Lady Eagles are playing the, what is Richland? They are the Raiders, Raiders. Lady Raiders. That's right, that's right. So starting out early, got a lefty pitch in here. Um, it's Will and Guthrie, of course. We're the only ones brave enough to do this job. Starting out, I, let me see what the count is. 1-1 one, one count, one, I believe. One. Yep, 1-1 one, one count. Ball's high and inside. I think that is Cardin up to back, Cardin Putman. Oh, really? I thought yep. you said May was going to be first. Oh, it might be May. I know they're both lefties. Let me look. Yeah, that's no, May. That, that's May. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Cardin. Sorry, May. Oh, good smack by May. That's going to get down in center field for a single, and that was a hard hit ball. She's going to go two. They throw it, go for the tag, and they're going to call her out at second. I missed it. So Coach Burleson sends her at first, and she gets tagged out. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a while since he's coached first base. Which was odd because the center fielder threw it all the way to the pitcher there, no cutoff, not even to second base, which is why May went. But the pitcher was fast enough to get it to her at second. So nice play there by Richland. All right, so now one this out. should be – let me look, card, this is Cardin, okay. So Cardin up to bat, ball high, 1-0 count. Of course, we're both out of breath because – I had to sprint all the way to the men's room, which is a mile away right before this. Yeah. You were sprinting, trying to get all this equipment out of the way. I was trying to move uh, gates and stuff so I could see. We are uh, on the left field side, third baseline, being the visitors. That's where we are, and we're set up there. I know Will's got a camera in center field or close to center field, more like right, left center. Mm -hmm. It looks good out there. Ball's pitch. That's going to be a called strike. So it's 2-1, two, two balls, one strike to Cardin. Nobody on, one out. Richland starts five, six graders and five, or four eighth graders, five eighth graders, I guess. Change up thrown low in the dirt. You might recognize the third baseman for Richland. She's a stud basketball player for them this year in middle school. The third she, baseman you said? Yes. Yeah, she's a tall, tall girl. Oh, it'd be a called strike. We go full count. Look good from here. Now, I can't see inside, outside from here, but on the knees look good. So full count in the carton, one out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. It's going to be a ball high. That was close. Yeah, that was a good-looking pitch. Definitely a hittable pitch, but Cardin laid off. Now, it could have been inside or outside. I'm not sure. So up next is Re Reagan. Scout called her Reagan a couple times, and that messed me up. Now, Reagan, <laughs> she had a home run already once this year. She's a catcher. She's a uh, excellent ball player. Been here for two years now. I think it's her second year with us. She came from California. I apologize if you're getting any wind. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that today. Going uh, to be. We're also where there's not great service, so we're going right. to be in and out. First pitch was high. That's going to be a nice hit between third and shortstop there, and that's going to get Reagan on with a single, and that's going to put Putman at second. So. Two on, one out, and here comes Izzy Garland. Big opportunity here. Like to see us score four or five runs in this first inning. Get out early on them. Try to shield my mic the best I can here. Sorry about the wind if it's loud. First pitch. Change up. She sits on it, but she hits it to third. They get her at third, throw to first. The ball's bobbled. Don't know if it would have been in time. It would have been really close. That's going to let Reagan advance to third, and Izzy will get to second. Nice base run in there. Good play by the third baseman for Richmond. So, Guthrie, have I not been told in the – because I never coached or watched softball much before I started doing this, but have I not heard you don't swing at a first pitch change up? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's kind of a general rule of thumb. Uh, if you're a stud hitter, you know, and you, you're smart enough to wait on it, you can. But, yeah, you're right. Normally – Normally, a first pitch changeup is not the best pitch to swing at. Runner does not but go on a wild pitch. She left, she left that one hanging there, so it, it just kind of floated in front of Izzy, and Izzy's a good hitter, so I would green light her on first pitch changeup. So up to bat, the first pitch was a ball. Up to bat now is Madison Potts. Pitch called strike. Look good from here. That's going to be a 1-1 count. You got Mary Ella on deck, who is pitching today, I think. Second pitch, swung at, missed strike. 
nice pitch there from, let me get her name. That's uh, Gordon. Oh, that's, uh, I'm sorry, that's uh, Mary Cam's older sister. Well, wind's blowing our equipment down over here. Yeah. Steven, they're good, good people. He helps coach. I believe his wife is a coach, too. She might be the head coach for uh, Richland, Gordon's. Mary Cam um, was one of a talent for a year there with us. Good little catcher, good little ball player all together. Pitch, she's going to get a foul off. That'll go for Gordon, so that'll be a 2-2 count now with two outs. Runners on second and third. Don't want to leave anybody stranded here if you can. Big spot here for Madison early on in the game. I mean, it's a good spot to be in right here. 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Pitch on the way. Look good. Must Ooh. have been outside, and that's going to go full count. That had to be outside is what I'm guessing because it was perfect on the waist. So with a full count, two outs, runner on second and third in scoring position, full count pitch on the way. And it comes. She's going to pop it up out of play, foul. So she's hanging in there here early on. Nice job by Gordon to keep throwing strikes here. That's tough on a middle school pitcher to throw consistent strikes, you know, when a full count situation is, is not easy. Full count pitch on the way. She gets a piece of it. She's going to hit it to the second baseman. She's going to throw it to first, and that'll be an out. I really so, thought she swung at ball four there, yeah, to be honest. I, yeah, it looked a little low, and uh, she definitely went down after it. So after one inning, 0-0, no score there. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the Exports Network. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. All right, we're back. I'm going to try to get a little wind proof down here for us. I hope that's not just ridiculously bad for anybody listening. If anybody's listening here and it is, come let me know so I can try to at least do something. So after the top half of the first inning, 0-0 zero, zero is your score. Nice looking inning from Gordon. Um, Lady Eagles got some hits on the ball, but uh, Ritzland played good defense and Gordon pitched very well in the first inning. So she put people in ground balls, pop flies. That's what you want to see. So up first is Lily Lancaster for Richland. Mary Ella is on the mound, or in the circle, I should say, sorry. So the first pitch is called ball, 1-0. Second pitch to Lancaster is low and in, 2-0. Mary Ella is a uh, better as she goes pitcher. She's an outstanding pitcher, but as she gets Further and further and warmer and warmer, she gets better and better. 2-1, that foul ball is going to go for pitcher. So it would be a two ball, one strike. Pitch on the way. Wow, must have been inside, I'm guessing, 3-1 count. Early on to Lancaster. Three balls, one strike. Pitch is going to be low in the dirt, ball four. So Lancaster stays at first here. And next up is Gordon. This is the pitcher. 
Elizabeth Gordon. Ball is going to be hit. Nice play there from the shortstop. Throw, try to get the double, and they'll call her safe at first. Excellent play there from, is that Madison? Potts, I believe. That is correct. Nice play there by Madison. Excellent play. She did get the runner at Lancaster at second, but Gordon will stay at first with one out. Up next is Galloway. That is the third baseman, number 11. First pitch called strike on the knees. Big strike zone as this young lady is tall. Pitch on the way. It's going to be low. Throw down by Reagan is in the dirt. Nice job by LD to block that up. Nice job to be backed up over there too. I think that is. I'll go around the field here in just a second and tell everybody where everybody's at at least. Pitch on the way. 1-1 one, one count. It's going to be inside. Ball two. One out. Thank you, ma'am. Ball's going to be hit in the gap. One run will score. The other one holds up at second as the ball comes in. Nice hit there by Galloway. In the hole. Did play it well. Got it in quick. Hit our cut. But uh, damage was already done. So they Richland will score one run. They take the lead, one nothing. Up to bat is Bratton. Hope I'm saying that right. First pitch called strike. Got a runner in scoring position at second, which is Galloway, the third baseman, and with Bratton up, the second baseman. Pitch on the way is gonna be popped out of play, foul. So that should be a yeah, 0-2 count. Mary Ella way ahead here. Look for a change up or nope, throw it right in there. Get your pitch going. A little bit outside, I guess. One it looked good from the knees. One ball, two strikes, one out. One nothing your score. I noticed the wind noise is worse than my mic is on. Oh well I I can hear it a little bit different. i I've got the pod over here now, so I'll pop it up and I can just leave the front of it open but that'll help with the sound I don't. I hope it doesn't sound too bad for people so 2-2 two, two count nice pitch there from Mariella that's going to be a swung at third strike and that's going to be two outs Galloway still stands at second in scoring position up next I think that's MC yeah Mary Cam Gordon they call her MC her older sister is the pitcher. Mary Cam is a good ball player in her own right. First pitch can be called strike. Two outs, 0-1 count. Richland has scored one run this inning. Second pitch is going to be chop swing that, and they're going to throw it away at first. Now they're going to throw it to second and try to put it on her. She's going to be safe. That's a good call there by the umpire. The run did score in Galloway, so that's going to be a 2 nothing lead. There's nothing wrong with the throw, was there? Uh, it was a little high into the out, but I think my, my thoughts are if it hits your glove, you should catch it. That's just my thought. Uh, it did hit her glove, but it was high and outside. It could have been a better throw. Uh, that one stings. Yeah, that's just an error on uh, both, a grounder, both their parts. grounder to the pitcher. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the best what you want. I mean, that's all you ask for right there. Well, bats are going to have to get to work now. What happens, though, is a pitcher, most of the time, is afraid of overthrowing it, so they take some off of it because they're closer, and that pitch right there, that throw right there becomes one of the hardest throws in, in ball, softball, even baseball, too, because it's so short. Kids are so worried about overthrowing it that they always almost throw, overthrow it. You just got to rear back and throw it. There's a player for Japan in softball uh, for the Japan national team that can't throw it overhead as Mary Camp strikes out the batter here to end the inning. But she can't throw it overhanded, so she winds up and windmill throws it just like she pitches. That's how she throws uh -huh. it to first every time, and she's their number one pitcher. I say so, that. Well, the leadoff walk came around to score, and then yep. there was another run scored on an error. So yep. both of those, you know, that's 
Yeah, it's not what you want. You, you know, kind of kind of shot yourself in the foot a little bit that inning, but yeah. maybe you know. More you are in the bottom half of their lineup now, so I mean yeah. that gives you a little time to regroup, and you got to get some bats going. We definitely we hit the ball in the first inning, but we did not, you know, really hit the ball. So hopefully we'll get it going here after this. You're listening to Summertown Middle School softball on the X Sports Network. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. Strike one. Looks like Mary Ella's up to bat. Yep, sorry folks, I was getting the pod kind of put up here to block that wind noise for you. Okay, that's much better, I think, Will, ain't it? Oh, Ball right is going to be third line baseman. drive right to Galloway at third. I mean, that just hit her glove. She didn't have to move. <laughs> nice hit, nice catch. I mean, it couldn't have been any better hit to her. That should help the noise there. Well, Will, for yours, my... Yeah. my well, maybe it'll block you down, muted down wind too. Yeah. Which, like uh, Blake was saying, it's a good chance one could go yard today with the wind we've got. Ball's going to be thrown from low, low to first. That'll be an out. So two outs early. First two batters, two outs. Quick play. outs. Yeah. Yep. That was a great hit on the first one. It just went right yeah. to Galloway. I mean, that just happens. You can't, nothing you can do about that. So we got Fisher up now. Yep, Fish is up. Need to get something going here. Get a base runner on at least. Get a little confidence going. Pitch going to be thrown first pitch. She's going to jump out on it and hit it. And a little grounder to the that. pitcher. And wow. that's going to be three up and three down for Richland. Nice inning there for the Lady Raiders. Uh, let's see what we do on defense. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. All right, so back in the bottom of the second as Richland puts a three up, three down top half of the second. It took about Bonus. a minute and a half. Yeah, really quick inning. Had the line drive to third, the little flub grounder to short, and then the ball hit back to the pitcher for three up, three down. Up to bat now is Lauren Blair. This is low, low, low. Ball first pitch can be swung at. Boy, them girls are jumping on them first pitches. I always say at least you're first at bat. Look at one first, you know, so you know what the pitcher's bringing. Uh, now, later in the game, if you jump on one, that's not bad, but it's not bad to at least see the pitch. Second pitch on the way is going to be low, nearly in the dirt, for a ball. one one your count. No outs. 2 nothing. Richland leads. Pitch on the way, and that's going to be a called strike. A little high, but that was a good pitch. I mean, it was on, it was on the letters there. Or right a, under him. As a reminder, there's high school softball after this. That's right. Pitch on the way, be low. So Mariella working up and down, up and down so Mark, far. Mark Pig will be calling the high school game. Right, yep. Two twos your count. Two balls, two strikes. Change up throw way in the dirt there from All Mariella. Right, let's, let's not have another leadoff walk. So now that hurt us last inning. Yeah, now we're looking at full count. On a, Lolo's got a very small strike zone, so you definitely 
Pitch on the way. She's going to line drive that one right back up the middle. Putman will get it into the cut at second. And Lolo comes away with a nice line drive hit there on a full count pitch. Nice job there from Richland. Nice hit by Lauren. Up next is none other than my Knoxley Bell, Patterson. Hoping maybe she comes back to be an eagle pretty soon. <laughs> I'll throw that out there. I don't mind. Good to see her playing. She's a she's got a good bat. Can if she gets a hold of one, it's it's going to be a hard hit ball. I promise. Second pitch on the way. It's going to be hit. Wow, she's, she's going to uh, be early on it. She's got some pop. Oh yeah, she's she's strong as. She's probably the strongest kid I've ever met. <laughs> she can pick me up for sure. She's just strong. She's just strong like her daddy, you know. Just they're kind of just built out of muscle. So early on, one-one count to Knoxley. Mm. She watches the pitch down in the zone. That's going to be two balls, one strike. If you get Knoxley to turn her hips when she hits one, some damage. She's got every bit of the ability to put one out of here if she t uses her whole body and not just her arms here so three one count needs to be perfect here Knox like to see you on base babe pitch on the way and it is perfect and that's gonna be a called strike full count so Mary Ellis had four full counts I believe four or five which is fine yeah. but you like to see I mean she's been ahead some but she's had to fight back that's going to be a ball four low in the dirt. Danger, danger. Knoxley is going to take first base. That'll move Lauren to second. So runner in scoring position now for Richland. This is number 12. Is that right? Yep. Zoe uh, Kinslow. I hope I got that right. Pitch on the way. First pitch strike. They all get up there uh, hacking, don't they? Yeah. Well, they, got, they all got vicious swings, even here at the bottom of the lineup. Mm -hmm. They're all wanting to hit. Or they're just so nervous, one of the two. Second pitch on the way low. Be a uh, called ball, 1-1. One, one. No outs. 2 nothing. your score. Richland scored on a... Almost hit her. A error for their second run, and their first run, the... Runner was on because of a walk, but got moved around on hits. This inning, Lauren's come out with a line drive and hit it up the middle, and then Knoxley got on with a walk. Now here's the third batter. That was good. Called strike. Two balls, two strike. Lauren does have speed at second. So a hit here to the, anywhere in the grass is going to probably score. That's going to be ball high. That'll be a full count. Another feels, full count. Feels like deja vu. I think that's, I believe that's the fifth or sixth uh, full count. I could be wrong there. Ball's going to be popped up. That's an infield fly rule. Batter will be out for the first out. Runners do stay put. They do have the option to run there, but chose not to wisely. Infield fly will be in play again here with runners at first and second and one out. Batter up is Lorelai. Oh, there's a ball on the ground here. Ball is going to be a pass ball for Mariella. Reagan does go get it. I think the umpire should have actually had time there. That should have been a no pitch. Yeah, that should have been a no pitch because the umpire yelled over to pick up the ball and he was not watching the play. That should have been a no pitch. Second pitch on the way, ball high. That's going to be 2-0 count. Mariella not pitching like herself here. Not pitching bad, bad, but she definitely is having a little consistency issues here. Let's pull it in here. She, Like I said, she gets better the warmer she gets. So, And she's throwing some strikes. We just don't like to see those three balls. I mean, if you can help it. So that foul ball will go for the pitcher. Two balls, one strike, one out. Runners in scoring position. Ball strike called. That's going to be 2-2. Nice pitch from Mariella there. This kid is a workhorse, too. She, I mean, she can throw, 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 and just a great all-around kid. 
Ball is going to be popped up. No infield flies. Oh, and they can't see it or something happens there. They throw it. They end up getting her at third. Well, that's Good heads up place there by. That's interesting. Yeah, by Potts there. She loses the pop fly maybe in the sun, I'm guessing, because the sun is directly in front of her. But at least has the heads up there to throw it to Garland at third and get the out. Nice job by Izzy to be there ready for the tag. That's a tough. Wow. That's a tough thing for a base runner too. I mean, for Lauren, that is tough. I mean, I don't know what her dad, aka the coach, there said, but uh, oh, sorry, that was Lauren. That's not Mary Cam. So uh, there's runners at first and second now. Yeah. So Knoxley's at second here. Two outs. Ball's going to be hit to left, and it's going to be fair ball. It's going to hit the fence. Bounce, bounce, hit the fence. Ball's going to be thrown into the cut. They're throwing it four. And the ball goes over Mariella and over the catcher, too, and the runner will advance to third on a triple. Four to nothing. Nice hit there by the uh, – that's Gordon. That's uh, the pitcher, Elizabeth Gordon. I think she says it the same way. Her name's spelled with a, an A, A-L-I-Z-A-B-E-L-T-H. So nice hit there from Gordon. That puts them up four nothing. Nice pitch there from Mariella to get a called strike. That should be 0-2. Oh, is that right? Or just one? I and think so, first? one. Okay. Ball's going to be hit. That's uh, Galloway there. It's at center field on the ground. It gets through the infield. 5 nothing. And uh, Gordon will score. So 5-0 is your score. With two outs. All that's happened with two outs. That was a, that was a monster hit. Right, we're going to right mount there. visit. Why don't we take a, a break? Quick break. All right, you're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. All right, no change. Yeah, no change with the mound visit. Just a little boost in the confidence as Bratton steps in here with two outs. Five, nothing is your score. Runner at first. Pitch called strike. Now, we haven't lost yet, right? No. Nope. I know we had that break over spring break and kind of messed me up. Uh, you almost it's like a season away or something. Felt long from softball. Ball low is the call. One, one's your count. Two outs. Runner at first, and at first is Galloway. Ball's going to be reached out and slapped at there for a called strike, foul ball. One ball, two strikes. Two out. We are in the bottom of the second. And again, as we mentioned before, high school will be playing directly after this, and Mark Pig will have that call. Ball's going to be hit to shortstop. Potts will throw it to first. LD will stretch out and get the out. So, routine play there. Finally got one down for the third out. So, damage is done already as Ritson scores three that inning. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the Exports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602.
right, we're back. Top of the third inning. Richland leads 5-0 over the Lady Eagles of Summertown. Stepping up is Lucy Daniel, number, she's normally number seven to me, but I, I can't see what her number is. 32. Yeah, 32. Numbers change when you get to this age. A little bit different lineup than what we've seen before. But they, they've got several players, so they play, try to play plenty. Ball's going to be nice hit there by LD. Right over third, it'll drop. Left fielder does a good job getting the ball in and throws him to second. No issues there as LD stands at first with a, a single. So coming up is May. We are at the leadoff. Looks like we're going to have a courtesy, I believe, a pitch runner. Yeah. Well, yeah, it won't be a courtesy because Lucy, yeah. Lucy Daniels is your uh, first baseman, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So that'll be a pitch runner. Maybe. Yeah, I guess pitch runner, that'd be Aisley coming in to run bases. Now, I mean, that could have been a sub because Aisley does play first as well. He plays third also, but first was her natural position for a long time. Ball's going to be hit right at us. Foul. This is put. Uh, May is up. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's May 1st. I want to show everybody Guthrie in his pod. Now, he's not doing that because he's a wimp and he's cold. He's doing that to keep the air out of his uh, headset. But if I was, <laughs> I would. I, I, there's one thing I, I hate worse than anything, and that is the cold. Ball's going to be slapped at. Foul. Goodness, there's some kids over here. That's going to be go for the pitcher with a 0-2 count now. May, who had a monster hit in the first inning. I'd like to see her get another one here. Definitely need to move it here. Ball low and out. One ball, two strikes to make. Yeah, I definitely can tell a difference with the wind, at least in here, even with the window open. So, pitch on the way. One ball, two strike. No outs. It's going to be high and inside. They throw it down to first, nothing there as Aisley's on the bag for a long time before she ever threw it. Not getting a big lead over there, but it's good that the catcher's sure of herself there. You got Mary Cam at first. Ball's going to be slapped out again. It's going to be a high, nice job by Lolo there to keep her eye on the ball because the sun is right in her face. That would be the shortstop. Nice play. That was May who hit that over. It was a pop fly right over third base, short stop, came over and made the play. So now you got Carden Putman in to bat. Runner still on at first, one out, five nothing your score, top of the third. Pitch on the way. Takes a good cut at it. It was high on the numbers there, be fouled back. So no balls, one strike. Pitch on the way. It's going to be low, I believe. It could have been a lot outside, too. She lays off of it. One ball, one strike. Pitch on the way. It's going to be grounded back up to third baseman. They get the out at second, which is easily. So a little bitty grounder hit not enough to hold back there. Third baseman makes a great play, didn't even hesitate, threw it to second, got that out there. So now stepping in is Reagan, and if she doesn't hit, then we might as well hang it up because this hit, this kid's been on fire with a bat. Runner on is Putman. She she was safe at first. First pitch changeup. Yep, laid off of it, it was outside. She does have a very good changeup. I like to see it a little bit stay down a little bit lower and not float up so much. But it's, it is very nice. And I think that's the second or third one she's thrown and it's been pretty, I mean, pretty consistent. That was a little low. Putman's gonna take second on a steal. Nice job there by Putman, that's big. That puts her in scoring position now. I thought we would have stole with Aisley at first. Putman, I think that was ball two. Yep, ball two. Putman's got speed. You'd like to see a pass ball get her here. Foul ball from Reagan there, Stevens. So that's going to be a strike called. So two balls, one strike. 
Well, I would tell you to get in here with me, but that I don't know how that would be. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> He's having to turn his mic on and off when he needs to say something, which is not common. It's going to be fouled back, so a little bit of off speed there. It's got our girls kind of chopping at it. Because I, I think she's throwing a fastball, a changeup, and I think she's got kind of a mid-speed, too, because our girls are definitely reacting. It looks a little slower than her fastball. Pitch on the way. That's the changeup high. So that'll be a full count. So two changeups. No, you in won't this see bag. a changeup here, will you? No, no. Full no. count, two yeah. outs. Unless no, I, very rare. I mean, it would be very rare. And you're that would. Reagan's going to chop at it. Our girls are just hitting the ball and then stopping their bats. The last three batters have done that. I don't know why we're not swinging through the you ball. You know, I'd be totally fine with the walk here, just with Izzy on deck. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, right at this oh, of point. Of course, uh, nice RBI. I'd be. Be all right too. Yeah, I mean, at this point, you need base runners. You know, I mean, that's all you. That's what we need. We can't get it out of it. Good ball hit there by Reagan. Line drive up to center. Good throw from center. They get her. And the run didn't. Did the run and nope, score? No, the run did not score. Excellent, oh. excellent throw from center field. Was it? Uh, I missed it, Guthrie. Was it to the plate or at second base? Uh, uh, to the plate. All the way to the plate from center field. And they had her dead to rights. That's amazing. No question. Threw it right to the catcher. Catcher was standing right in the baseline, put the tag on her. That was an excellent throw from the center fielder. Who is that? I have to look and see who that is. But I, much props to her. Good hit there by Reagan. Excellent hit. But that's just a great, great play there in center field. So uh, no damage done from the Eagles. 5 nothing's your score. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the Exports Network. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. All right, so here we are, bottom of the third, five nothing. Still, your score. Richland's looking really, really good. Uh, Summertown, eh, we've had, we've played much better. I'll say that. Not looking bad. Just they're making good plays on us. That was a great hit by Reagan. That girl at third, I mean at center, and she threw out Cardin at home. And Cardin's got speed. So that girl charged the ball and made an excellent. Couldn't have been thrown any better. First, second pitch, gonna be hit in the gap. Putman will run it down. She'll hit the cutoff. We got a stand up, stand up double there. I believe that's Mary Cam Gordon. So she stands up at second with a double. Nice, nice hit there. Good job by Carden to get it in. Uh, but that ball was just hit in the gap. All the way down their line up there, hitting well. Yeah, yeah. They uh, they're putting it in play and making us play defense. We've had a couple errors, but now here's a pop up to the other side. Putman gets under it. Coach is yelling at the player at second to come on, and she's not moving. He was wanting her to tag. Yeah, he was wanting her. He was yelling as soon as the ball was called. He was saying, come on. That was on. a nice catch. So that that's kind of hurts there because that puts her at third, and any time a runner's at third, your pitcher has a hard time uh, pitching it sometimes. So here comes Lauren here. So this could be – she had a good hit in the first inning, I believe, and it went to a – Eight pitches, I believe. First pitch called strike. Mary Ellis still in the circle. Yeah, they call her low or low low. Second pitch going to be high. She has a small strike zone. Mary Camp still stands at second after the nice play by, by uh, Carden in center field to make the dive and catch. 
probably worked out better that she didn't go. She would have been late leaving, and Carden's got a good arm out there in center, so she probably would have thrown her out. They got a ball in here. I guess I need to, I said I would go around the infield. I think is that May and right field? I believe that's May. You got May in right field. You got Carden, Putman in center. You got Fish in left. Easy Garland at third. Potts at shortstop. Uh, Ellie Reese at second. Uh, LD at first. And Mary Ellis pitching and Reagan's catching. I believe I got them all. And I have not seen any changes on defense so far. So, full count to Lauren here. One out, five nothing your score. Bottom of the third. Pitch on the way. Good pitch, good catch there by uh, Ellie Reese. At second, yeah, wasn't it? nice play there by Ellie Reese to get the out. Good hit there from Lauren. Just again, right to her, kind of like our play. So that we gave it back here. So up next is Knoxley Patterson. With two outs, runner in scoring position. Nice job there by Mary Cam to get back on the bag. She could have easily got picked off in a silly situation. Ball's going to be popped up right to Mary Ellen. That'll be a three out. So first pitch, pop up. Got out of that inning with no damage. Yeah, so that, that if, was a leadoff double too, right? Yeah, let's see if we can't do some damage with the bats here. So after three innings of play, five nothing's your score. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the x -Force Network. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. All right, so here we are, top of the fourth. Izzy. Izzy is up to bat. I'd like to see something get started here, a little rally, come on. Got a good batter in the box here. She, she can, swung at a first pitch change up last time. Yeah, she can. She let that high pitch go, so it'd be ball one. But she's definitely got the ability to go deep. I'd like to see something hit the fence here, get a little excited. Change up called high. Ball two. Might have been outside a little bit too. She didn't want nothing to do with it. Two balls. No strikes. Again, we're top of the fourth. Five nothing's your score. Pitch on the way. She does get a piece of it. Hit out to Barked Patterson. Right Patterson ran in on it and it went right overhead. Garland at second. She's coming on to three. They throw it at her. She'll stand up at third. Needs to get on back. Yeah. Nice hit there by Garland with a stand up triple. Uh, it did go over Patterson's head, but I don't think it could have been caught. But she did run in on it. But I don't think it'll be charged. I don't think it would have been charged an error. Uh, is what I was getting at here. So Garland does exactly what we ask of her: come up and hit a big ball for a triple. You just wish there was been some runners on base. But that's a good way to start the inning. Got a little fire in them, I think. So up next is Madison. Yeah, Madison Potts. She had. Uh, she was showing bunt. Yeah, she she was a little late showing it. Ball high was, and she moved her feet, almost stepped across the plate, which is a big no-no. So coach tried to catch him off guard there. Let's see if he does again. She shows bunt late. She's not getting around, but it'd be a ball outside. I can't hardly touch the bunt, which is, I mean, that's good. That's what you want. So two balls, no strike. Sometimes so showing bunt messes your pitcher up quite a bit too. Third baseman's up, first baseman's up. Ball low and out to Potts. 
Pot's called a little bit when she was, uh, I guess she's probably a sixth grader over in Dixie when I umpired, and she was, she protected me from a lot of balls being hit, hit me, so. 3-0 pitch is high off the backstop. Garland thought about it, wisely got oh, back. I thought she, they thought they got her. Yeah, I, she, oh, now they throw it away to second. Potts is running second, nobody's there to cover. She'll stand up at second, Garland will score. Garland would have been out had they put the tag on her. The, the throw beat her, but uh, she didn't get the tag down on her. Summertime gets on the board. Yep. That was a lot going on there. Yeah, so 5-1 now is your score. Uh, Pot stands at second. Uh, they just, uh, she threw that, I mean, the third baseman just threw that away. I mean, just hold the ball. The, I mean, we wasn't even running it first. Is that Mariella up now? This should be Mariella, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, numbers. No, so no. Someone got a low pitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Mariella. Yep, 20, uh, 10, number 10. Mariella. She's been struggling to find the strike zone. Don't go up there just hacking at the first pitch. Yeah. Especially make, when it's low. Make her look at, a couple look at one. I mean, the first, she took easy, 3-0. Three, three, oh, and, and threw, it, threw it wild one, yeah. yeah. And oh, then I, that was really late. It. Yeah, she was way behind the ball right here. She half swung that. She was kind of undecided, I think. So again, Potts stands at second, 5 1 your score. Top of the fourth, Mary is at bat, 0 2 count. Pitch is in there, whoo, must have been outside. I think it was up and out a little yeah. bit. So one ball, two strikes. Mary is the pitcher. They did warm up Putman in between the innings. Pitches in, popped up, straight center Could field. It's going to be tough with the, with the uh -huh. good job there by the center fielder. I need yeah. to get her number. She, what is she? 88. Will is that right? I can't see it from here. I see it. Uh, yeah, it looks like 88. Okay. There's a, well, they don't have an 80. Oh yeah, they do. Lily Lancaster. Much props to her. I need to give her a high five. That throw and then that right there, that catch with that sun in her behind it is is tough. So one out. She does get the out at, in center field. It's going to be a pass ball. Second one this inning. Potts will come to third with a steal. So Gordon, been consistent whole game, hasn't thrown any away. She's had two pass balls this inning. Still doesn't look bad. She's just having a little hard time with these first few batters here. Potts at third, they're gonna throw at her. Got her out. I missed it. <laughs> she didn't get back to the bag either. Boy, that was just not a good play to happen right there. Nice job there by Richland. So, there's been nice. several, between the first inning and this yeah. one, several squandered chances. That I mean, that's silly. You're at third and a, t and a game that you're down. And you just know. Uh, yeah, don't even be playing with it. Because that catcher, she's got an arm, too. They have saw that the whole game. And then almost always, we'll see if it happens here, after uh, an out like that, it's followed by a would-be RBI. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. And this is, uh, sorry, this is Ellie, uh, Ellie Reese. And it's uh Walk. Walk, okay. That was quick. I thought she had one strike on her. Okay. Now, she does have wheels, and she is a very smart base runner. So, I would not hesitate in the slightest to be sending her on a first pitch right here. Especially since the catcher hasn't had a yeah. good throw down to second yet. Wisely gets back. <laughs> Anything out of the zone or touches the dirt, I would be gone with it. You don't want to – well, it's two outs, too, so you don't have to worry about a four – I mean, get out of the force at least, but there'll be a force at first no matter what with two outs. Ball low, and if the pitcher's struggling, I believe, yeah, I would hold her up. Let's see what happens here. This is a fish, I believe, ain't it? Yes, Kenley Fisher, a.k.a. Fish. The wind has settled down some. Yeah, it's getting hot in this pod, I tell you that. Just want to get a low so, one. So yeah, and she I'm pulled telling her you, head she's, way out. This pitcher's struggling. Don't help her out. Yeah, let her let her throw it away. So fish, she she was looking dead at me when she swung that one. Ball high. I mean, I believe I would take. That should have been ball four. Yeah, this would be a take situation until a strike is thrown. Of course, it all looks so easy from where I'm sitting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, definitely different in the box. We know that, but what else will we talk about? Yeah. Nice job there by Fish. She gets a piece of it.
to hang in there. Now it's a full count. And the runner will be going. Yes, yes. she should full be count, running. Full count, two outs. Yep. Full count, two outs, five on your score. Top of the fourth. Pitch on the way, ball high. Nice job by Fish to draw the walk. That'll put Ellie at second. And now Aisley's up. Aisley has the ability to put a So this is where Lucy Daniel would have hit. Yes, so it looks like they've made a... Pitch hit? Uh, yeah, it would be... Well, a, is this who came in to run for? This is who came to run for, but I don't know how that... I don't know how that sub works in, in school ball. I have to look that up. Uh, because she don't have to hit for her, I don't think, if she comes in to run for her by any means. Oh, we got a little siren going off here. So Hello. ball low. So this is Aisley. Yep, and this should be one ball, one strike. Did they call that first one a strike? It's a, let's see. All right, they've got two, they've got ball one, but I know there's been two pitches. It's one, one. Now that should be two, one, and if she didn't swing at that first one, it would have been three, oh. Yeah. This would be, again, a situation where we're not swinging that one until she throws us a strike, but she did throw a strike. Pitch on the way, in the dirt. So Gordon is struggling here. Uh, I think it would be really big to flip the line up here. Base is loaded. Yeah, that would be huge. I mean, this, to, to at least want to get these two off the bags into home. You don't want to leave anybody stranded right here. Pitch on the High. way. High. That'll be another walk. This should, should bring a coach to the circle, I would say, and it does. So it'll be bases loaded, and that puts us back at the top of the lineup. You want to take a quick break here, Will? Uh, uh, looks like we're going to have a visit. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Force Network. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high-quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. All right, so first uh, drama of the game here. We've got, uh, it was a mound visit, no change of pitcher. First pitch called strike, yeah. so base is low. She was watching that one all the way again because the pitcher had been struggling. Right. Which is smart, yeah. I mean, on her part. And May does have the ability to, to put a good one out there. Base is loaded. Tying run is May at the plate. Pitch uh -huh. high inside. Runners on the bags. I would say it wouldn't be wise to get picked off here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody might get have to run 187 poles. Yeah. Pitch on the way. Low. low. So Carly is not here because she's uh, she's working. Yeah, she had the shift or split. Her other or job. So uh, a real job. I don't know if she's listening to us, but oh yeah, she's listening. Uh, but I'm sure that she's would make some running polls if we look if we uh, get picked off here. Yeah. I'd almost call a take here. Oh yeah. But I I don't yeah, know. I know. Uh, I don't know about a take if. May can hit the ball well, so yeah. she has the ability to get a line drive on it. There it is. Ball hit up the middle. Uh, Great play the there play. by Lauren. She's going to crawl yeah. to second and get the force at second. I didn't. She, she went to the ground to catch the ball and then crawled over and yeah. tagged the base with her glove. Yeah, that's great. And that saved a run and possibly more. Oh, yeah, definitely. It saved uh, one, and then you so had – you had Cardin on deck, and we're at the top of the lineup right there. So I That's mean, a huge that's bummer a big, if you're a Summertown play. fan. Yep. Um, yep. Leave those runners and down four. Yep, leave them all it, on base. Yep. That's crazy. Three, so three left standing there. Uh, five, one, steal your score. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220.
Yep. All right, we're back. All right, so pitch bottom of the fourth, we do have a pitch and change. Carden Putman comes in to the circle. Mary Ella will go to first. Uh, Izzy will go to shortstop. Aisley will go to third. Uh, at second is still Ellie Reese. Madison Potts will go to center field. Fish is still in left, and I believe that's May in right. Uh, of course, the catcher stays the same, Reagan. So Putman, first pitch called ball. Let's see what she does here. Second pitch, she's going to throw it high. Her takeoff looks a little bit different. Maybe she, I mean, it's only her second pitch. She, she warmed up before the game, and then she came in through with Scout a little bit for about five minutes before the inning. So it'll take her just a second to get in a groove here. Pitch on the way, called strike one. Two balls, one strike. Nice job by Putman, find the zone there. This could be smart, I mean, it could come in and throw a little bit off with the with the batters. Two different pitch pitching styles and Cardin's a lefty. Yep. So that that does add a little bit to it. Three balls, one strike. Well you got four more runs you gotta score. Yep. But you definitely can't allow any more. So yeah, giving them a different look might be wise here. Yep. And I mean Mariella is a is a great pitcher, but you know, any pitcher has days that they don't pitch perfectly great like they always do. So, I mean, it's nothing bad on her. It's just some days it's there, some days it's not. It's good that you got a couple pitchers that can come in and help out. That's big. So, 2-2 two, two count. Ball on the way is going to be low. I think she might be taking a few here. This is, a, I believe that's Galloway. Is that 11? It's 12. Oh, is the, 12. Is the batter sorry. up there. Sorry, yeah, Galloway had a hit last one. So, it's Kinslow. Zoe Kinslow, number 12. She's the designated hitter, I believe. Ball low. That'll be a ball four, I believe. Yep, yeah, is. She didn't know it, but, yeah, it is. So uh, open to the bottom of the fourth with a walk, which is not what you need here. But it does give you a force a second if you want to find something positive about it. Lorelei Hitton, I want to say, H-E-T-T-O-N, up to bat. Runner on first. Ball low. Coach backing up the center fielder there. This young lady has hit the ball well. This is Gordon, the pitcher. Ball. He's oh, asked, caught his strike, did yeah, he? I think that, he said strike, that was he? a very, and He's called a really good game so far back yeah. there. That looked low but, uh, and weight. It looked a little low. So, yeah, I think even the scoreboard folks were confused. Pitch on the way. Ball's going to be hit to second. Ellie Reese will get one at two. She's got to be a little faster with that, and they could have got the one at first. Yeah. Ball's going to be dropped at first, but the uh, out at second already happened. So we got one of the two. Ellie Reese got to be a little bit faster if they want to pull off the one at first there on the double. Doubles in softball are very hard. Double plays, very hard. So nice job by, by Carden to put him in a grounder. Five ones to your score. Runner still at first, one out now. Bat, up to bat. Oh, is this Gordon? now okay so this is gordon that was uh lancaster was up last sorry she stands at first yeah these girls got long hair and the sun is right in our face so it's kind of yeah. hard to see anything that way so this is gordon the pitcher who's had a couple huge hits already ball is going to be foul tipped i believe i was hoping reagan didn't get her glove in there that'd be automatic first base so here comes putman Got a 1-1 one, one count, I believe. They show 0-2. Oh, 0-2 oh, oh, count? That's what I've got. Okay. Yeah, they, okay, yeah, yeah. Pitch on the way. Gets her reaching out, stretching for it. It's going to be fouled off. So 0-2 oh, right where you want to be here. I don't know what Cardin has for pitches. I don't know if she's got to change up or uh, I would assume she does. But this might not, I don't know. This is, they're probably their best hitter, hitter right here. Her or Galloway. So the 0-2 on the way, one out. And that's the changeup. Wow. Got her. Got her. Batter's out. Yep. Because the bag is occupied on drop third. We'll watch the replay of that. That was, uh, had her reach it, had her guessing. Which I think Reagan really nice. hit her with the glove, didn't she, before she got out of there? I think she knocked her down before she ran out. She was out anyway. 
bags occupied there. Nice job by Putman to come in and get it out there. So two so outs. She's getting oh. some swings and misses. Yeah, that's a strike one called. Carton has a big rock back and a, a long jump, so her ball's gonna naturally rise more than likely, which is good in her case, because it, then it can also move out to in, which is a little bit opposite than what you see with a righty. So the uh, wind has returned. Yeah, fiercely. The flags are blowing, and they are helping the batters, by the way. So they're, it's blowing towards left center, that kind of direction. Here's a ball hit high. Right to May, she gets under it for a third there out. Go, Good mate. job there by May. I know those are routine, but they can also be routine drops. Well, she's sometimes. looking kind of into the sun there, too. Yeah, so nice job by May to keep her eye on it, make it look easy. So nice job by Putman to come in hey, and get a win, get a good inning there. Hey, uh, keep it keep it here for a okay. minute, Guthrie. Yep. Uh, this camera out here next to mine in the outfield, what is that? Where am I looking? So you oh. see, there's mine. Yeah, I see yours out there. And then there's this big tall green like that that wasn't out there when i set mine up oh oh i see it that must be the that's a uh like one of them soccer cameras that follows the game i bet that's what it looks like so is it out there for soccer do you think i bet it's Our, out there for soccer because they're playing be. yeah they're playing soccer on the other side okay i was it's, uh i forget what they call it but that's uh, that's what they were made for was oh. soccer i believe that's one of them well i was about to get jealous i uh, didn't see it out there until now until you said that um yeah because i didn't know what but yeah they so they've got I don't know if it's a match going on out there or practicing, yes, but there's definitely soccer. There's going different on. color jerseys out there. See, I guess they got a game going on. Yeah, they got a nice facility. I like how they use this space out here. They they've just used every inch. Yeah, of this land perfectly. Which um, you know we do have Nick and Tika over here too, and they they just speak extremely yeah. highly of the of the group over here in Richland. And th now that I've streamed the softball game here, I've, I've now I've I've streamed all four sports here that are just right here side by side by side. You got mm -hmm. the gym over there and the baseball field and softball field and then to our right is the football field. Well, that gray building over there is also an indoor facility for uh, football and softball and baseball. Oh, nice. So yeah. it's a little thing in there. So this should be Cardin up. It, it is. I believe May ended the last she inning. Yeah. First pitch called ball, I believe he said. So still no change to the pitcher for Richland. Yeah. Their, now their backup is Lauren. Uh, she's a sixth grader. She plays. She's at shortstop right now. She can throw the ball well. But they choose to stay with Gordon. I mean, Gordon is the eighth grader ace, I believe. So, and I, as far as I haven't heard that they have any more pitchers than that, but I believe they're that's their two right there. And they did warm up both before the game. And I've seen Lauren pitch several times, and so she can she can definitely do the job. After going down 2-0, the ump cleans off the plate. Yeah, somebody might have been on him back there. I didn't see a close pitch or nothing. So here comes the 2-0 pitch. Going to be outside, so this should be take all the way and get us a base runner on if we can get right. a ball four here. Carden was thrown out on the bags last uh, time up. She was the one thrown out at home from center field. Ball that's high really should be. She gets down to first. So that's one of the ones we need to get on the base right there. Yep. Especially where we're at in the lineup as Reagan comes up, who has a hot bat right now and has had one all year. She has had a homer already this year. Got to be thinking still here. First pitch changeup hits it right to third. They pick her off at third at first. They so do. Putman gets picked off First pitch on the line up. drive to third on a changeup first pitch, two away. Heck of a play there by the third baseman. The line drive was a good heads-up play, but then to gun her down at first, that was a nice and play. And now you got Izzy with nobody on and two yep. outs. Just that's that's several several errors we've had on the bags. That one's tough on your your base runner because the line drive, but well, then at the, the first same pitch time you got to get again. back quick. Yeah, they lead up with that a lot. It looks like that was a uh, Galloway at third who made the play. So I want to give her props where props are due. Nice job by Galloway. Ball high to Garland. Yeah, we we can sit over and say we need base runners on when Easy comes up, but it just hadn't worked out that way, except for in the first inning, which didn't help us any. Definitely need some base runners on when your power gets up. Pitch called strike, two balls, one strike to Garland. Two outs. Five, one your score. 
We are in the top of the fifth inning. A reminder, there is high school softball right after this. Will will start a new stream, I'm sure. Yeah. Garland takes it to right, right field again. She had a triple last inning. Here she comes to third now. She's digging in. They don't even make the throw. She stands up at third or dives in head, head first at third just so her mama had to wash her jersey. <laughs> they throw it to home. They bobble it, but she stays put. Nice job there by Garland. Another big hit to right field. That's yeah. two in a row. Again, how much There's your that, dust right there, Will. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it's coming from. But again, how much that double play hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, because that clears the bases easy. Nice hit there by Garland. Almost caught myself cheering and yelling, run, <laughs> run, run. I had to catch myself. So, Pot's up now with Garland on third, two outs. All of that's for nothing if we can't score Garland. First pitch, she jumps on it, hits it foul over the first base side. Hits the coach in the foot. Yeah, it's, it, that's all for nothing if we can't get Garland across home plate here. It's nothing but a great hit at that point. So here comes a 0-1 pitch to Potts. She's going to foul that one off. Yeah, finds herself down 0-2. I don't know if the first one was a strike. I think it was. But that, yeah, one, they, they, that one was for sure a strike. Yeah, they were. They yeah. both were. So Gordon wrapping it in here now, finding a little bit of her groove back. Not that she's pitched bad at all. She's pitched really well. She just had an inning where she wasn't as great as maybe the first inning. I believe this is around her 80th pitch now. Yeah, and, I mean, she's she's look. oh, she lets one sail high there. I might have jinxed her. Garland's going to go. She's going to go head first. Nice effort by Richland's catcher and pitcher there to make the play, but Garland got under it. All right, well, we got the run in. Yeah, Izzy had to do it herself, but we got it in. Nice job there by Garland to put a run on the board. Five twos your score. I fat fingered a, a key, sorry, for going to center field on that play. We're uh, running out of time as, yeah. you know, you can't wait around to the fifth inning to get stuff going. So we've got to get – or you sure can't wait to anything after this one. So it's an 0-2 count. I think they only – don't they play – what do they play, Will? Five? No, they go to seven. Six, seven, two? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking it was either six or seven. I didn't know from middle school. I know there's seven normally. Pot's still in there. Two twos a count. Two outs. So, looking for a two-out rally here. Here comes the pitch from Gordon. It's going to be high. Could have been a ball, but she's going to chop at it. I mean, it's close enough that she should have been swinging. So, that's going to be a full count to Potts. Again, with two outs. She's fouled off, I think, four this bat. So, good at bat. For both pitcher and catcher. She's <laughs> going to take the change up to the knee. Smart move there by Potts. Taking one for the team. Tough on Gordon there. I mean, she's thrown the change up well this game. All right, now in is, should be Mary, Mary uh, Ella. Ball high. Yep, so we are at, Mary Ella's the sixth batter in the lineup. So give you an idea of where we're at in the lineup, which we we can do damage all the way through nine for sure. Ball high. Bad thing about two outs is that pretty much takes your bunt away right. or you're even showing bunt. You can't really show bunt. And a bunt can be dangerous in a game that you're struggling to hit in or at least you're not hitting where you need to. Pitch swung on and missed by Mariella way up high. Two balls, one strike. Two outs, five to the score. I tell you, with this wind, I dread when that sun goes down. You're going to freeze. Yeah. You may leave my pod for you. I might you have can to. set it right there and get in it. <laughs> I got enough stuff to carry by. I bet it's 90 degrees in here. I mean, it, inside this, with the window open, it's still that hot. Wow. So, I mean, whoever made these are smart people. I hope they're arrested on a beach somewhere. Oh, they are. Don't doubt that. Yeah. They gave a. Uh, Oh. Ball is going to be hit. It might find a gap. Nope. nope. The center fielder once again. That young lady has had a game. Uh, settles under it like it's nothing and gets the third out. So we did get a run on the board though. So that's a that's a start. But uh, I need, don't know need, if need more though. Yeah, you might need to make somebody aware that there's only a couple innings left in this game. Our defense looks fine for the most part. We have had errors that have cost us, but yeah. we just can't get the bat to hit the ball in the hole. So. Uh, we'll take a break. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. 
From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. All right, we're back, bottom of the fifth. Putman is in the circle still. Everybody else looks to have stayed the same on defense. Up to bat is number seven. Number seven. That is Bratton, and she is the number four hitter. We'll get, she'll get on base with a hit to left field. Nice solid hit there. So Richland done a good job of hitting the ball, and they've done a great job of fielding it. The center fielder has played an extremely great game, and the shortstop has had some excellent plays there. And Gordon has pitched a really good game. Uh, when she's throwing balls that are hit, they play defense on it. We've had some huge errors on the bags um, getting called out, and we've had a couple errors on defense that cost us some runs. That one in the first inning, we thought it would come back to haunt us, and it has. So yep. that one right there scored several. Pitch in, what they call that, high? Ooh. Uh, this Mary Cam is up. She's got a very small strike zone. This is uh, Mary Cam Gordon. Mary Cameron is her name, but they call her MC or Mary Cam Gordon. She is the sister of the pitcher for them as well. Pitch on the way from Cardin. That's a strike on the inside. Two balls, one strike. I thought the last one looked pretty close to a strike. He might have gave her a makeup call there. Two balls, one strike, no outs, runner on first to Mary Cam. Pitch on the way. It's high. She goes after it. Fish is under it. She makes the catch, gets it into second. So Good job there by Fish to get the out yeah. in left. Again, she's looking at the sun. Yeah, right at it. Yeah. So the key there is never take your eye off of it. If you take your eye off the ball one time, you're going to lose it in the sun. So runner stays at first. That puts the out on the board. Mary Cam had a nice hit. Just good job by Fish to make a routine pop flock right there. Up is 15. That's McConnell. Pitch on the way. Must have been outside. Yeah, he, he waved his hand yeah. a little bit low and outside. Putman's rock back and jump looks a little different, but I wouldn't I wasn't real close to her at the last time she pitched, so I don't know. She might not be stretched out more than I think, but it looks a little long. Now she's settled. It looks like she's settling into a, a rhythm now. One of the biggest keys to pitching is the – pre-delivery and up to the delivery that it stays the same every time and that's that can be hard to do but if you do that much then everything else kind of takes care of itself a lot of times they throw it down to first nothing there Mary Ellis got to turn the other way to put a tag on her it's there a one two count now yep one ball two strikes one out runner at first five two your score bottom of the fifth inning Need to get out of this one without any damage, right. for sure. Ball low, so we got a 2-2 count. Cardin's still ahead here. Again, this is McConnell up to bat. Must be the end of the nice. quarter period in soccer. When that yeah, happens. that makes sense. I was like, what is that? Change up. Aisley ah. gets it and throws it all the way to first, but hits the ground. That's going to be an error. 
Oh, we got to throw that ball to second. We yeah. didn't even look at second. Well, wherever you throw it, you got to have a good have, throw. Yeah, you can't throw, in, throw one in the dirt there. That's for sure. All right, so runners at first and third now with still just the one out. Just got to let that go and get the next out. Yeah, that's going to let a run score here. We got to get that lead runner for sure. And it's got to be a, on the dime too. Uh, Ellie Reese was at second to cover. We just never looked at it. Pitch on the way. I would say, I was going to say we would see Bunn here. They throw it back on a little trickery. They bobble, Cardin bobbles it, but manages to get it back before any runs leave anywhere. And up to bat is Lauren, who had a monster hit the last inning. She is the shortstop. Blair, 17. Shows bunt, pulls back, strikes called. I was going to say, we, I, it would not surprise me to lay down a bunt right here. That yeah. would cause a lot of issues, I believe, because I'm not sure any of them know what to do right now with the ball on a bunt. I mean, you get this on on a bunt, you're in a good situation. Bunt shows. She lays it down, down first baseline. Foul. It's going to be picked up foul. Good, but that's exactly <laughs> where you want to bunt it, too. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't have – I mean, just six inches over, that was a great bunt. She did exactly what she was supposed to do. Now, is it a, is it one one showing up there? Yeah, it's what they're showing. Okay. Which at, I know it's two strikes. So well, yeah, it's one ball, two strikes. They put it up now, but I know she watched one strike, pulled back on one strike. So now she'll be swinging now, and uh, she does. She hits it right to short. Izzy's gonna get that out at third. They throw it home for the play, safe at home, uh, and she did beat it. But we got the out at one. We did get the out at first. Yeah. So the error clearly yep. leads to a run. Yeah. Which they, you know, they almost always do. Yeah. Uh, that's the hard part about it. I mean, most errors lead to a run. You, you hope they don't, but somewhere along the line, it, they always do, I think. So up next is Knoxley Bell Patterson. I'm a little partial to her. I hope she gets a big hit here. Maybe it just won't score any runs. Pitch on the way. Called strike. Oh, oh, they've got her in a rundown at third. So they throw it. They got her. She's ran out of the baseline. So that's going to be an error from Richland. First one on the bag so far, which gets us a third out, which is huge. But the damage was done with the run on the error for our part. So they did score one. Six to two is your score as we go into so the top of the six. Two more chances. Yep. And Listen. now you got a lot more runs to make up. Oh, yeah. And we are we just went through the, the heart of our lineup. So now we're... Yep. Going to be down towards the bottom, which is not bad. We can hit all the way through the lineup, but you want some big power up there, and that's at the top four. So uh, we'll take a quick break. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf, and this is Hustler Country. Hey, Guthrie, I'll yep. come on in. I'll put this on the screen here. The superlatives came in. And after you and I spent tons of time with our kids, pitching lessons, hitting lessons, they were successful in getting most school spirit, Ellie Lou and Jake Pettis. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> I heard. So all those pitching lessons and hitting lessons paid off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, well, okay, there's blunt. much worse that she could be. So I was pretty, pretty happy with that. Yeah. She was excited, and I know she was excited. Well, Jake, was Jake, Jake worked hard for that. Uh, I don't <laughs> doubt it. Um, which I, I, that makes you, that does make you feel good. I'm, I mean, I'm proud of anything my girls do, and Jake. I mean, yeah. he, I kind of feel like he's one of mine too. I mean, I see him around here, his name a whole lot. So we we tell Ellie Lou all the time. She'll hate me for saying this, but we tell her all the time that they'll end up marrying each other. And boy, she just gets a red, mad face. She'll oh, yeah, beat they both, me for they that. both will get mad for that. Yeah, probably. yeah, that's for you too, Jake. We had a, we had a lead off. Bunt that was yep. 
thrown out, out at out, first. Yeah, so. it, was, it went too far to the pitcher. Not a bad thought. Um, if you've got anybody in, in there that can swing a bat, now would be the time to put them in. That's going to be thrown, called out yeah. at first. Mary Cam short, but she stretched out there and got that one. Nice play there from Lauren, who's had an outstanding game again. I mean, I can't say it enough. Their shortstop so and down center to four. Third, I don't want to leave third baseman out either. Summertown needs four runs. They've only got four outs left to work with. Two outs. Aisley's up to bat. Got to get something going, girls. And the only way you're going to score runs, you got to hit the ball out of the infield. That's a foul ball. And it's got to, I mean, it's got to get through the infield, and you want to stay away from that center fielder in Lancaster. She's good. Again, the third baseman, really strong. I mean, they've all had a good game defensively wise. I mean, your third, your short, and your center have had an outstanding game. So, two outs. Pitch on the way is in the dirt. Gordon's had a great, great game in the circle too. She, when she's gotten down, she's fought her way back, and I mean. We kind of gave her a little hard time there for being inconsistent, but, you know, her team's up 6-2, and you don't do that if you're pitching a good game, if you're not pitching a good game. So pitch on the way is high. She's kind of lost it a little bit, but she's managed to get it back enough to get a ball in there that they can hit, and then when they hit it, their defense has played really good defense and got out. She's 2-1 up there, okay. When you when you face a team that's fundamentally good, you gotta you got to bring it. You can't – I mean, they're not going to let – fly balls drop say, I, or anything like that. I am that. happy, you know, I, I want Summertown to win, but I am happy for Richland because I know in the past when we've played middle school games against Richland that it's been pretty lopsided. And they've, they've uh, this, this group, you can tell, they've been working since they were little kids together. Yeah. And, I mean, you got, like we said at the beginning, you got five sixth graders. And of those five sixth graders, three have played together, you know, travel for a while, I know for a fact. Um, and then you got the rest are eighth graders. So, that's who they start. So five sixth graders, four eighth graders. I mean, that's – and they're coming out here and doing an outstanding job. The shortstop is a sixth grader, and she's done a – she's had a big game. I think the center fielder might even be a sixth grader as well. So Aisley got on on a walk with two outs, and now is – we're back to May, I believe, yep. all the way May. So two balls to May. Get something through the infield, even if it's on the ground, a line drive, something. We don't need pop flies. We need to hit the ball line drive. Ball inside, 3-0. Should be take all the way here. Yeah, I'd imagine. And you can get you another runner on, and that's two of the four that you need. And you're three batters away from Izzy, or four, and you got Reagan at two batters, or in the hole right here so i mean you just need base runners you got to count on that's where those two have to really step up as eighth graders and just smash the ball to a hole not try to hit it out but just get a good bat on it that'd be a ball four in the dirt as may goes down to first so they're putting themselves in the position they want to be in here if they just stay smart and do not get anything called out on the bases no silliness on the base got this pitcher's over 100 pitches now Oh, I don't doubt it, yeah. And she I think her pitch count was pretty low going into the third inning, but I think the fourth yeah. and fifth, she, she accumulated quite a few. Yeah, it's a strike. First pitch is a strike. That one looked good. So Gordon's brought it back in again. Nobody's hurt for their side yet. So, I mean, we've had base runners all day, but we can't get them across home plate. Second pitch, chains up high. That's a good thought, though. Yeah, change up has gotten us a few times today, mm -hmm. and especially with two outs. It's early in the count, yeah. too, they've hit us with it, which that's pretty common. I mean, I've seen that. I've had several people, uh, several teams we played against, though, change up first pitch. Uh, this one young lady, she threw it first pitch every time. No matter, you knew it was coming, you still they still couldn't hit it. At this age, they still struggle with the change up quite a bit. Carden in. Ball's going to be hit out of play over our heads over here, the third baseline from Putman. So that's going to be two balls and I believe two strikes. Yes, that should be two strikes. With two outs? Is there two outs already? Okay, yeah, that's right. Pitch on the way. She hammers it back at Gordon. 
My gracious, people. If, there's no way the video would do that justice on how hard that ball was just hit at that young lady. Yeah, and she ca how she caught that, that ball yeah. was hammered at her. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, That's she swung it. She swung it a, a high, high pitch. pitch. Yeah, it was high. And so it would have been ball three. That ball was but hit hard at Gordon. Was that was solid an outstanding contact. play. That's just the yep. kind of game it's been, really. Yep. So we left two stranded, which yep. we really needed badly. And um, here they come again. So we'll be back after this. 6-2 is your score. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the x Sports Network. Bottom of the sixth inning, Knoxley is up to bat. Like to see her get a good hit here. Pitch on the way is low in the dirt. And for if anybody doesn't know, for some odd reason, Knoxley is my niece, so it's not like I'm That's, rooting yeah. for Richland. But he's not normally rooting against yeah, Summertown yeah, like he is not today. Not normally, but she is my kid first and foremost, no matter where she plays. Ball high. So that's going to be too old to Knoxley. You're a nicer uncle than me because <laughs> if I had a niece playing for, you know, Loretta or something, I'd be like, sorry. Yeah. No. Well, I root for Knoxley. No, I've got a granddaughter that will be at Loretta in a few years, so um, I'm yeah, headed that way. Yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah. Well, and I, I just try to say I'm not rooting for the team. I'm just rooting for the kids. Sure. So, which I try to root for all of them, but, I mean, she's mine or one of mine, and – you won't find too many better kids than her and her sister, so. So here comes the 2-1 pitch to Knoxley. Uh, she chases a high one. She's, going to have to, she's getting a little stretched out too much. She's going to, have to draw it back in. So 2-2, two, two, that one goes for uh, Carden there. Showing her, her dad hollering from <laughs> right field. Leave her alone, That's... Nick. Leave her alone. <laughs> here comes the 2-2. Two, two. Woo, mm, got her. Look a little high. She's, but Well, she's striding out, so it doesn't matter where you step and finish. Yeah. It matters where you start and swing. So she stepped out quite a bit there, striding way out, which makes her a little shorter. So she does strike out. That would be a good good job there by Carden and one out for Summertown. And here up to bat now is, let me get my page pulled back right here. That would be Kinslow, Zoe Kinslow. Ball one. Yep. These girls are all posted up on the fence now, and I can't hardly see oh, yeah. Burleson's right in front of me. Move out of the way, old Burleson. Pitch on the way. And we're getting some shade now because the sun is starting to kind of – it's yeah. going to be really, really bad for whoever. Maybe the seventh inning and the first start. Maybe the start of the first, I next think, one, it'll be okay. I think by high school it'll be all right. I think it'll be down by then. But they should have planted some trees right there. <laughs> but, I mean, if – to give you an idea, the third baseman and shortstop, probably left fielder, there's no way a ball hits yeah. them. They're going to see perfectly. I mean, it's balls hit the right field in the air. May gets under it. Routine catch. That's going to be two away. Nice job there by May. She's doing a good job in right field yeah, today. Yeah, she's had a good game in right. Anytime you have a game that you don't make errors, I mean, that's a good game, especially in middle school. And, I mean, the sun not affecting her as much, but it probably has a little bit to do with it. Now, Izzy and Aisley and – fish especially uh they're gonna struggle with it all right so sorry i've had to stand up folks i got a line of girls in my way from the high uh, school team yeah they're they're they don't see us over here and i know that the wind probably you can probably hear that a little bit so first second pitch is going to be 
hit foul. May's diving. Oh, great effort by May. Just an outstanding effort and nearly had it. And it, it went foul, but not no lack of effort there. That would have been pretty to catch on video, too. I don't know if I caught it or not. A little slow-mo. That was a good effort. Well. So I'm going to have to crawl out of my hut here. Is that uh, Lancaster? Is that 88? 88. That would be their center fielder. She's had a good game in the yeah, outfield. she's had a great game. I would argue uh, her, the third baseman and shortstop, have had outstanding games for Richland. Not to take away from any of them, because when you're winning against a, a good team, Summertown is a good team, and you're winning by four runs, you, you've had to have a good game. Pitch on the way. Change up. Got her on the off Man, speed, and that was funky nasty. I think they wrote a song about that. It was called the Funky Cold Medina. Well, I'll tell you, she has um, – I, I, I know the one run came and scored, you know, after errors and such, but yeah. Cardin's done a great job since oh, coming yeah. in. Especially coming in cold. You know, that's never easy on a kid. Uh, but to come in down and try to fight our way, we just can't get our sticks to hit the ball in the right well, place. That and we've killed ourselves with just errors and base running, basically. Yeah. So maybe we'll put it all together here. This is the last chance we get. So it'll be the top of the seventh when we come back. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Bas uh, Softball on the x yes. Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CMB Linen. Well, now I can say that I've streamed soccer, too, as we're showing the soccer game over there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of excited about volleyball, and I never thought I would say that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think we still got a ways to go, but uh, I know it's coming next, or one of the next ones. I know we got tennis going on. Have you streamed any tennis yet? No. I, I, you know, that wouldn't be too hard. Like, you just stick a GoPro up there. <laughs> well, but you I, have nobody, to follow it. Nobody just... knows how to call it, though. Yeah, that's true. And then, and the online scorekeeping might be tough for me. So. Well, I know like thirty love, and I know all yeah. that stuff, but I don't know the rules of it by any means. Oh, Sean Kelly could call it. I guarantee you, he could call it. <laughs> he could call it in a yeah. heartbeat. I don't know. He says he don't understand it. He lies. He also says he hates softball and he loves it too. He also <laughs> says he hates kids and he's got twelve of them. Yeah. So these two teams will meet again. I think it's April second. It's another. Middle school, high school doubleheader at Bobby Wyatt Field. Okay. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing this rematch. I got I don't know where baseball is that day, but I got to make it a point to make yeah, sure that, this middle school game is covered. Yeah, I mean, Richland is, has played a great game. We have not, uh, but we haven't played a horrible game either. We've just, we've just played a game that you can't play against a good team. Second baseman makes a routine play. I believe she's a yeah. sixth grader as well. I know that doesn't mean anything, and I'm the first to say, you know, it's just a grade. It doesn't matter, uh, which it doesn't. I mean, a kid's a kid. If they're an athlete, they're an athlete. But uh, Richland's infield has been solid, and their outfield, too. Oh, has yeah, been solid. it's all the way around. Yeah, they've just it's just fundamental. That's all they've done. They made plays when they're supposed to make them. And uh, if you want to beat a team, that's that's how, well, all you got to do most of the time. That and hit the ball. So Gordon going the distance here, still in it in seven at the top of the seventh here. She's still in pitching, and Izzy is up to bat. And that's a wake up call for Summertown playing this team. They've not seen the best competition so far. Uh, yeah, you know the the game at Forest was against a, a good team, I would think. And they didn't um, they but, didn't come out like I thought they would. No, were. but you know there's been two games lopsided games against CA. Yep. Um, and so I'm glad Summertown's getting to see a, a good team like this. I think maybe they thought it was going to be a little bit easier than it was because Richland is a little bit younger. They knew, they all knew who was starting and how many, you know. But again, that doesn't matter. I mean, the little girls out there on the field right now are athletes. It doesn't matter I what grade. I think you said they're. Richland's lost once. I'd be interested to hear who, who yeah. beat them. I think that's what Nick told me. I think he said that they've lost one. Uh, I'm not sure to who that was. 
I know they won their first game, I believe. I saw tickets post on that, and I've talked to Knoxley in, since her first game, and I know she they won it, but um, I don't know how many they've played overall either. Pitch on the way is a change up to Garland. She finds a good backhand there by Lauren to stop the ball. She's not going to get the out, folks, but that's an outstanding backhand that she just played uh, to stop the ball from getting to the outfield, and which would have gave Izzy the second base. So Izzy will stay at first due to the great play there by Lauren at shortstop. Just an excellent play and excellent game for her. This will be Pot stepping in for us. We need, a, we need to hit the ball here, girls. I don't know if y'all know it, but this is your last chance, unless you tie it up or take a lead. Pitch on the way, called strike. Good pitch there by Gordon. She seemed to settle back in the groove here. Anytime you put Izzy into a ground ball, then you're doing a pretty good job in the circle. So baseball plays Mount Pleasant the day that we host Richland, so it'll be a high it'll, school baseball. Yeah, and that's a, that's a uh, district game. It'll be tough to. Oh, well, just, they'll be fine. Them boys don't care. I'll, say, I'll try to get someone to cover this if I can't. It'll it, be at home, right? Yeah, no, or you it'll, be, it'll, it'll be it'll be it'll be at home. Okay. I think both base high school baseball and then the softball doubleheader are both at home that okay. day. Pots up, oh one. one I thought I think it was it's one, oh two. One. Oh two count. Yeah, she fouled that one off. She's gonna reach out and stay alive on that one. It's gonna be fouled out of. If it wasn't oh two, it is now. How many viewers we got, Will? There hadn't been many. There's a lot of other games going on right now. Yeah. We've been, we've been hovering in just in the twenties or so, mm -hmm. and that's that's just on Facebook. Yeah, um, which that's how I watch it if I watch it. And, I, yeah. again, I say most of our views for middle school come after the game. Yeah. I'd like to go back and see how many some of them have got. I know all the girls watch them. Uh, some of them are required to in some sports. <laughs> but I think it would be uh, – like I would give anything. I'd give my big toe to have my games online. I mean, that's – what exports has done has just been an amazing thing, really. Yeah, it would have been nice to have had that in the 90s. Yeah, they don't appreciate it now, but I've got mine on a VHS, and I still watch it all the time. Garland's going to take second on a wild pitch, yeah. and that's going to put her in scoring position, and that's going to also take away the double or the force out at second or double play from second to first. Two, As Pot stands in on a 2-2 count, one out. 6-2 is your score. Richland does lead. This is the last at-bat in regulation for Summertown. They've got to score four here to keep on going. Good pitch by Gordon. It's going to be fouled off again as Potts kind of chopping at it here. She's not getting her hips through. See, again, this girl has been pitching. Let's say i got 121 pitches now. That's, that's a pretty good game right there. I'd say that's a little bit higher than what you probably want. I'd say you probably want about 100 to 105. Fouled off again. Yeah, I remember when. A lot of arms here. I remember it was the, uh, Putman was at, at Forest pitching over like 110 pitches in the mm -hmm. cold. And I thought, man, they're pushing her a lot, but this girl's really. Uh, yeah, it's not. Now, I'll say on a day of travel, if you go the distance and you finish the championship and you and you have to come through the loser's bracket, yeah. so if you lose one early and you've got to come fight out of it, a kid could easily pitch 240 pitches. <laughs> wow. Easily. Now, over the span of, you know, five games, and most of them will be back to back to back, but they'll get some kind of break in there. But you don't like to if you don't, but sometimes if you only got one pitcher, that's what happens. So she's going to hit one to right. It's going to get down. Knoxley's going to bobble it. So she'll get to first, and Izzy will score at home. So there's one of the four we need. Six <laughs> threes, your score. Try to get a rally going. Nice job by Potts to get on first and to drive in the RBI of Izzy. So nice job there. Still Richland in full control with one out and leading by three in the top of the seven. Up to bat is Mary Ella. She'll step out. You know, and a few things go differently. You know, this is probably a 4-4 game right now. Yeah, I would agree. I, uh, yeah. If, if anything, it's a 6-4 game, 6-5 game. These teams are more even maybe than the score shows. But, you know, first inning, a few things go wrong. Uh, then there was a double play we, we hit into, um, mm -hmm. you know, a few errors. Base running, so, the errors, the so outs on the base running. We are going to have a pitch and change because I say that young lady went 124 pitches. And wow, so that's a big change in the so – like I've, Gordon had a great game. Take nothing from her. She's yeah. done really well. Uh, she's impressed me for sure. That's the first time I've seen her pitch. 
So uh, this girl's going to have to warm up yeah, for a we'll while. Yeah, we'll take so. a quick break and let, let uh, the commercials do their job. But Those waiting on the high school game, you're going to have to wait a little longer. Yep, not too much, just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so we'll take a break. You're listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. All right, here we go. So new pitcher stepping in is Lauren. Go. Let me make sure uh, I get it right. I think it's. I know what it is, but all right, yeah, Blair. That's right. So they call her Low or Lolo. Low. She is a sixth grader. She was playing shortstop. Gordon will be moved to shortstop for Rich. So she's the one that's been playing short. Yep. Yep. She's, she's played the, a good shortstop. Yeah, she's had a great game. Um, which she's a ball player. Her older sister. That's in there. Strike. Uh, her older sister was, she was the point guard for high school for since she was in eighth grade, and I think she was voted most valuable player in eighth grade for the high school team. And she pitches in softball as well. She looks at like a little bit bigger version of her, of Lolo. They look a, a lot alike. Runners and we're go. going to second here. We should be standing up, and that is, that's good for Summertown. They've waited long enough to start playing ball, so let's see what happens here. So two balls, one strike, one out, six threes your score, top of the seventh. This will be the last bat for Summertown in regulation unless they tie it. Ball is going to be past ball in the dirt. Oh, that's tough to bring a kid into the seventh. I mean, that's tough. Gordon wasn't, didn't have a bad game. Oh, she, she pitched really well. Uh, she put a lot of outs on the board. Maybe not through strikeouts, but she put people in ground ball, routine ground balls, and pop flies several times. So take nothing from her. But I do feel for Lauren as she's – they'll make the play at first. No, it's going to be thrown in the dirt by Galloway. The run will score. And now we're standing at second on an error to first base. And Galloway's had a great game too, so you don't want to take anything from her. And Mariella will be at second. And that ball so that, was barely fair, fair. I was going to say it was awful close. So run does count. 6-4 now is your score. Down by two. Up to bat is Ellie. Still one Reese. out. Got to think. Yeah, oh, she, she's watching all the way. Yeah, she's taking the first pitch. So, they're, I mean, Lauren can throw strikes. So, they, I mean, they need to be ready to hit, but. That's probably not bad. We should have done that early in the game, watching some first strikes. Now that would be high. They're yeah. going to hit it to the center fielder, who's been money. Yep, yeah. she is. And I love how she just she did. Wa she her footwork right there, where she backed up and to get ready to make that throw, was that's yeah. perfect. She done. swung at a high pitch. Uh, that look, She's going to be one to watch right there, that little Lancaster girl. She, she's had an outstanding game. I know that's just a routine softball pop fly, but – watching her footwork and how she's done. That throw to home earlier was uh, Down to the final out here. Yep, two outs, down by two, runner at second. Tying run is at home at the plate that right now. It's it. going to be popped up to the pitcher, and she makes the catch, and that's going to be ball game, folks. Great game. So, they, Summertown makes a little run at it, but yeah. Richland just too strong today. So, uh, hats off to all the girls. Richland, uh, great win for them. Huge game, very impressive. Uh, this should smack our girls in the face a little bit, and uh, which is good. They need that, you know. Uh, you need to be challenged. If not, you won't get better. So, 
So good game here, Will. I appreciate it. Uh, again, there is a high school game. Mark will have that call for you after this one. So yeah. uh, that's it for us. We'll, you're going to do a no broadcast, right? Yeah, we'll start, stop this one and we'll start another one. But uh, right. a good, good game to see. I'm, I'm glad to see Summer, Summertown finish finish on a good note. You know, not that the loss is a good note, but yeah, you know. but you, you did make a couple plays there at the end yeah. and score two runs. So, uh, yeah. so all these. Uh, high school girls are coming out here like they're something, so we'll see what they can do now. All right. Um, after this, all right, you're listening. You've been listening to Summertown Middle School Softball on the X Sports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.